Welcome to the Chateau Marmont, the 63-room, seven-story castle on the hill that's been shrouded in mystery since its inception. Today, I'm gonna to give you a little bit of insight into the fame and the infamy of the famous Chateau Marmont here in the heart of Los Angeles. Hi, everyone, I'm Tara Burns, and welcome back to my channel, Living LA, where I give you a behind-the-scenes look at all things related to living here in Los Angeles. Originally built in 1929 as an apartment building, the LA-based Chateau Marmont was intended to resemble the real-life French chateau, the Chateau d'Amboise in France's Loire Valley. It was quickly converted into a hotel after the owners struggled to keep rental tenants in place during the Great Depression. Fast forward 65 years to 1990, when hotelier André Balaz acquired the property and restored it to its original glory. But the truth is, it really wasn't that glorious. It was very approachable and very relatable, which just might be a reason why so many celebrities felt comfortable letting their guard down within its walls. Matthew McConaughey famously took up residence in the Marmont for over two years. Led Zeppelin's John Bonham rode his Harley Davidson down the hallways. Jim Morrison fell off one of the balconies. And sadly and tragically, actor John Belushi overdosed in Bungalow 3. A hotel with such a storied and star-studded past is bound to provoke a great deal of curiosity about the things that really went on behind closed doors here at the Castle on the Hill in West Hollywood. 